Verse 11 continues, and we're going to learn about the other beast. And it says it very clearly, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. So he's like a lamb. Jesus is that lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He is the lamb of God. But this is like a lamb, yet he speaks as a dragon. Christians ought to get to know the voice of the shepherd because there's going to be one that looks just like the shepherd. He's as a lamb, and yet his words will betray him. He speaks as a stranger speaks. He speaks as the devil speaks. He speaks as the dragon, that old serpent, that devil, that Satan. He, he speaks as that anointed cherub that covereth, that fell from heaven, was rejected because he sins. But he's going to appear as a lamb. And actually, most of the world is going to say, is this not he? Behold, here is Christ in there. Right? Believe it not. Right? Because there's going to be many false Christs. And this one will stand up. And in all the power given him by the dragon, by the devil himself, he will go forward and, and, and carry out his devious and dark, and dark desires. Verse 12, it says, and he exerciseth. All oh, the power of the first beast. So he's taking the power that by, by, by policy was given unto him. By, by craft was given unto him. In other words, he's been given as this spiritual leader is what I think it is. Right? The government side's taken care of. Perhaps now there's only one, gov one, one religion allowed and this beast is the leader of it. Looks as a lamb, spake as a dragon. Antichrist, ring a bell. He's given all the power that is given him by that devil beast before, that little horn, and he exerciseth it. And he causes the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. He exercises this power, and the first thing he does when he gets it is he points to that first beast. Now, how is he going to win the religious hearts? How is he going to convince Muslims to shake hands with Jews, to shake hands with Catholics, to shake hands with Baptists. Yeah. How is he going to cause every religion in the world to unite under one banner? Verse 13. He doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. How fickle. Someone shows up and makes fire come down. And the whole world will wander after this beast. Verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast and that which had the wound by the sword and did live. So the power of these miracles, that great, the great thrust of, of fire coming down in the sight of men is going to convince people he is that true God. He is that true spiritual leader. He's the one that we should be following. And he takes that power that was given unto him and points all the adoration to that first beast which had the wound and did live. Now 